hello welcome back again to NX tutorial in this session I want to create a circular pattern in assembly so you can see in here on the slide one part will be circular a pattern in here and I want to I want also uh, to create part a circular pattern but it's not fully uh, circular so uh, separated in like like this one so maybe we can start to the model this part in here you get you can go to home a pattern a component you select the component yeah and choose a circular uh, to about the rotation axis you can specify the factor you can click the factor one so the factor is going in this uh, direction specify point is the center of rotation you can click this one now as you can see there are certain uh, selection you can use cut count and pitch count and span uh, pitch and span for example if I use only 120 degrees so it, it can be like this pitch and span count and span degree if I go for this one or maybe to the six degree this one is only four because I use, I must have a six I just this one six see in here you also, you also can like this okay you can see the other 60 okay so it's easy to create uh, a, a pattern to components inside the assembly now I want to add some more bolt in here okay go to assembly add okay M8 bolt short using by constraint click OK are you seeing info center axis this one and also I go to touch touch this object into this one. click OK and this is the bolt now I want to add this into this hole so it means that I have to create a pattern I go again into home pattern component select the component a circular method specify a factor you can click also the surface so it will make a perpendicular factor from the surface you go to specify point okay you can use count and pitch you see uh, 6 and 60 degree it not fit well I just only need 3 but not pitch angle not 60 and span maybe 120 now 60 using minus a direction now I get this one so the count is 3 including the original 1 2 3 and the span angle minus 60 minus 60 is a clockwise meanwhile plus 60 is a counterclockwise let me show you Now, I also want to create for this and this. So it means that I will create a pattern, and the basic pattern is this three bolt. Click the components, okay. Specify factor. Just click only the flat surface. It will perpendicularly uh, create uh, the factor. Specify point, the center of the uh, circular. Uh, I can use this 120 degrees. No, still not good. I just reduce this one. Ah. So count two. It means that one, two. Span angle 120. Here. Okay. 
so click apply I will create again on the same way but this time I using minus 120 to fill the three holes okay that is the so this is complete it's the easiest way to make this uh, circular a pattern but I also have on the show want to show you the other thing uh, this is not a uh, pattern component this is how to make exploded view so you go to assembly go to exploded views click new explosion explosion one click OK you can see in here there are two types explosion one and no explosion so in explosion one you can use auto explode components select all of this and then click OK the, the distance maybe about 300 click OK this is the distance but the result is not always always good so it means you have to using manual uh, your positioning uh, I undo Explode view make sure the explosion set is active and go to edit explosion so this gonna be the manual way and the NX also will show you a new window so there are two options in here select object move object so after you select object and then you move it for example I select this And then you click move object. Okay. Click OK. Go to export again. Edit object. Edit explosion. I mean. Into this one. Move object. Click OK. You can repeat the previous command by uh, by push the F4 button on your a keyboard select object move object okay press F4 again move object click OK now you see I create assembly explosion in here so you can see in here explosion 1 no explosion explosion one so this how to create an exploded view okay now uh, I also want to show you something uh, about assembly so for example if you want to unite this part this part with this part become one part there are an easy way to do in NX. I'm going to show you. I go to no, no explosion. Go to in here a wave geometry linker. You choose the body, this one and this one. But first, I want to click in here. Part navigator is still empty. When I click this one, I using non associative and I gonna hide the original part. I click apply it will create non-associative part this a part this is not an assembly I click this one this is also part not an assembly so in part navigator you have two features this one and this one for example if I want to unhide just only show this two part uh, I mean this two feature is no longer part it's one part actually so you can make unite operation click OK 
now you have one single part now and then if you don't want as this become one feature to feature and a unite feature so you just only need as one single uh, block of part you go to surface extract geometry type is a body height original click the unite click ok you can get extracted body you can delete the unnecessary file delete so you get one part I'm going to show you solid body yeah I choose when I choose solid body it will choose all because this now single part recolor little bit transparency okay so actually this is assembly this is part if I don't need this assembly anymore maybe I can delete all delete all not all can be uh, deleted but you can you can extract the, the body maybe you can export into hair solid files so just only this part or maybe you can export into another extension for example you want to save as the other uh, cat file okay that's it thank you for watching